Hey Summoner, welcome back to another Pro Gads video. My name is Nathan Ning, and we're going to be talking about the 10 best solo carries on patch 12.3. These are the champions that are overtuned enough to hard carry games, and are considered safe to blind pick, with little to no bad matchups that can completely shut you down. Do know that the champions in this video are generally the most meta picks for the role, and as a result, most of them are picked or banned pretty frequently. If you're looking for champions to play that are much less contested, check out our top 3 champions to main series. The champions in those videos are strong enough to carry with, but they're both low in pick and ban rate, meaning that you're much more likely to get your hands on them. We'll start things out in the top lane with Riven. In case you haven't seen our other videos covering the changes this patch, we think that the higher damage, lower durability for bruisers means that bruisers are going to be higher risk but higher reward carries now. Specifically, the high skill cap champions like Riven are going to be much harder to shut down when they're in the right hands. What makes Riven such a good champion to pick up is that once you're good with her, there really isn't such thing as a bad matchup for her. Yeah, in lower elo, she tends to struggle with certain foes, like Renekton for example, but that's just because players there generally don't have amazing mechanics. Once you learn the intricacies of each matchup, you'll learn how to win, or at worst, go even, even in the hardest lanes, and always be a strong carrying force later on into the game. Another big strength that Riven has is her flexibility. Most champions specialize in either split pushing and fighting 1v1s, or grouping up and team fighting, but Riven is S tier at all of those. So, depending on the team comps and the state of the game, you can adapt to whatever is best for your game. Whether you're trying to learn to abuse the broken champions on this list, or how to deal with them when you end up on the wrong side of the matchup, if you really want to speed up the process, you should check out ProGuides.com. We have courses from all your favorite streamers and pros, like CoreJJ, Aphromoot, and XSmithy to really help you understand how to play your role. And if you want a more personalized experience, we have coaches available 24-7 ready to help you guys become the best. Our coaches are top tier players that have spent years climbing that solo queue ladder to get where they are now, and they're ready to share everything that they've learned with you. And there's no better time than now to sign up, because we're running a pretty sweet deal. Just use the discount code WINTER when you check out for 20% off your sub. Now let's get back on topic, shall we? If Ribbon's too difficult and you want somebody easier to play, maybe Garen's a little bit more your speed. He's super easy to play, so much so that I consider him the Annie of the top lane. His trading is simple, his all inning is simple, and his team fighting is simple. The only skill expressed as part of his kit is when to use your W active at the right time, either to mitigate a huge burst of damage or to shrug off incoming CC. If you can get that down pretty well, you'll basically have mastered Garen. The one rule that you want to give yourself is knowing when it's okay to group. Against certain champions, that answer may be almost never. For example, if the enemy comp has a backline like Janna, Ash, and Zillion, you may be better off playing to a side lane rather than grouping up, or you'll just be kited to death. Another bit of advice is that you probably don't want to go teleport on Garen. Either bring Ignite to bully your laner or run Ghost for team fights. Moving things into the jungle, the first pick that we have for you is Kha'Zix. I think, looking back throughout all of League's seasons, Kha'Zix is one of the most problematic champions of all time. There has never been a season where he wasn't somewhere between God tier and S tier. Hell, I'd say there's rarely a span of more than 3 or 4 patches where that's not the case. True to his identity, he's always able to adapt to different metas. Even now, you can be a bit flexible with his build depending on the enemy comp. The build that we gave you is a standard one-shot squishy champions one, but you can run Conqueror and build Eclipse and Black Cleaver to suddenly become a beefier tank buster. Ka's weakest point is the very early stages of the game, where he doesn't really do well in duels against the enemy jungler, nor does he have much gank potential. But don't worry, keep clearing and eventually the enemy team will take that one bad fight, where you suddenly get 2 or 3 kills and snowball from there. The second jungler that we have for you is Kindred. Kindred can feel a little bit more high risk, high reward than most other junglers, due to her reliance on getting sacks to be useful, but it's not like it's complete RNG. With enough experience on Kindred, you can predict where your mark will spawn, and always be a step ahead of your opponent. If you master that, you'll be loading into games with a huge advantage already. One more advice of getting stacks is not to fixate so hard on the enemy jungler for your first mark. That's the default thing for Kindreds to do. But if you have an easy to gank laner like Pantheon or Annie, mark their lane and force their gank at level 3 for a free stack. Next up in the mid lane we have Talon. The nerfs he got last patch hurt his jungle hard. But since that change only affects his damage to monsters, Talon mid lane is still tearing it up. And anytime Talon is in the meta, he's a complete nightmare to keep contained. His absurd all-in damage makes him a laner that most opponents are forced to respect. Either they sit back and let the wave shove, or risk being one-shot. As a result, you get a free roam with him as much as possible. Even if the enemy laners hug their turrets, you can always track down and cheese the enemy jungler as they try to clear their camps. If you think jungler sells bad when the enemy mid denies the scuttle crab, just wait for you to jump over the wall and kill them in their own jungle. As a side note, like Ka, one of Talon's biggest strength is his ability to be flexible with his build. Electrocute and Dusk Blade work well to one-shot squishies, but if the enemy team has some beefcakes that you're gonna have to deal with, run Conqueror and build Eclipse instead. The second mid laner that we have for you is Vex. 
Right off the rip, Vex is a champion that doesn't really have any losing lanes. Against other mages, she can move up and be super aggressive, constantly harassing them with a Q poke until they're forced out of lane. But what she really specializes in is shutting down melee assassins. While most other mages fear those champs, Vex completely denies them from doing anything in lane. This is all thanks to her passive. As long as you have your fear up, you just wait for them to go in on you, and then immediately use your W to both shield any of their damage and fear them away. Outside of laning, Vex has a dual identity of a pickmaker and fight engager thanks to her ultimate. While Ludens is definitely ideal for giving you one-shot potential against squishier opponents, you may want to consider Crown if you're the main source of engage on your team. As a quick side note, I like to say that I absolutely hate Vex's Dawnbreaker skin. I think it's absolutely one of the worst skins in the game. I know she is not even that old of a champion, but I can't wait for them to give her a new one. And that brings us to today's question of the day. What champion do you think badly needs a new skin? Whether it's a champion that hasn't gotten one in a long time, or a champion that just doesn't really have any great ones, let us know your answers in the comments down below. And bonus points if you could come up with a theme. Moving things down to the bot lane, the first carry that we have for you is Vayne. When it comes to the list of solo carries, Vayne is probably the number one thing that comes to mind for a lot of bot lane carries, and for good reason. Most ADCs have to pick between safety and hyper carry potential. Kogma, for example, can completely melt through anybody, tanky or not, but is super vulnerable to being dove. Ezreal, on the other hand, has tons of kiting power but has lower DPS output, especially versus beefier tanks. But then there's Vayne. Not only does she have a small dash on a pretty low cooldown, but also gives her stealth as long as her ultimate is running. Plus, she has her Condemn that can knock back dangerous opponents away. That self-sufficiency, alongside with her insane true damage DPS, means that you can easily deal with any type of opponent that jumps on you in teamfights. Look, I have no problem with Vayne being as strong as she is later on into the game, but what I do think is an issue is how consistently she can get there. But if Riot isn't going to nerf her early game and fix the problem, you probably want to abuse her for LP as much as you can. Our other hyper carry that makes our list is Jinx. Jinx's lack of mobility may make her a little bit more vulnerable to being dove on, but considering how hard she can carry in teamfights, we think that's a risk that's worth taking. The splash damage from her Fishbone's attack in conjunction with her Hurricane gives you power to wipe out the entire enemy team in seconds. To work with her glaring weakness of being an immobile hyper carry, you want to start to play the fights kind of slow. If you just run in gun blazing, it's pretty easy for a diver to jump in on you and blow you up before you get to blow them up. Literally. You need to position really carefully until you can get that takedown in a fight. Once you get excited, the pop-off potential begins. Now for our supports. The first champion that we have for you is Leona. Leona is easily the most popular engaged support of all time. Early season, no matter the meta, she's always just been a staple pick. Right now is a good example of that. For the past several patches overall, enchanters are completely dominating the meta. But Leona still remains an outlier, being one of the most picked champions in the role. The thing is, her engage is just way too valuable for her not to be a good pick. Her ultimate has a massive 1200 casting range. That's about halfway across the screen. This allows her to look for more picks and engage opportunities than any other champion, which means that she's great for turning games around when they aren't going too hot. Like the sun rays from her ultimate, or whatever she hits you with. What is that? I don't know. Anyway, making picks is one of the best ways to win games in solo queue, so why wouldn't she be a top tier pick? Another huge plus to Leona is that she's arguably the best kill lane support in the game. She has good lockdown, provides a lot of damage, and is way too tanky for the enemy bot lane to burst her down when she goes in. Finishing off our list, we have Janna. I know, I know, this video is all about solo carries, and enchanters aren't really what comes to mind when you think of champions that can put the entire team on their back, but carrying doesn't always have to mean people who make massive plays, or who's pumping out huge damage in teamfights. Janna carries in her own way. Specifically, she carries by completely denying the enemy champions from playing the game that they want to. If you're good enough with her tornado, you can prevent champions like Lee or Zac from ever reaching your backline. But sometimes you end up with divers that you just can't peel. What do you do if Vi or Hecarim ults your team in an attempt to isolate your ADC? Rather than just spinning your wheels trying to peel that threat, turn your attention to the divers follow-up. Use your ultimate in a way that sends the rest of the opposing team flying away, so your entire team can gang up on the diver and nuke them down. It may not be the coolest, flashiest way to carry games, but it's pretty damn effective. I mean, there's a reason that Janna's win rate is so insanely high right now, and don't worry, the glacial bug fix isn't going to do as much damage as you may think. At least, not to Janna, but maybe to the other people that you're going against. And that wraps things up for our 10 best solo carries patch 12.3 edition. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you sub so you never miss out on our meta guides, and you're always in the loop on what the best picks are. Remember, let us know what champion that you badly want to see a skin for in the comments down below. 
And one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below, where you can enter our giveaway or just hang out and be part of our community. I can't wait to see you guys back in the next video, but until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.